Morning, Hornets fans. It's uh, Saturday. We've got another game uh, today at Vicarage Road against Everton. Lots been made about this game. Um, hype's been built up in the press over Mr. Marco Silva. Look, I think it's very important to say, um, most important thing for me, and I, and I think for a lot of Hornets fans, is that three points are needed today, whether it be Everton that were here or, or whoever. We need to get the three points. We've had a couple of results where um, we picked up points, but not really played well. So looking for, for a good performance um, and obviously the, the three points. Just to touch on the Marco Silva thing. Yes, listen, I, I'm I'm the same. I, I think the guy's a snake. I think what he'd done was completely wrong. He's proven at Everton what he's actually about. He's not a particularly good coach. I know Troy Deeney's come out um, this morning, actually, um, on his Instagram account and, and kind of tried to steer himself clear of the iceberg, um, reference the comments that he's made, which, I, again, I think they've been taken out of context. I don't think he means, um, you know, literally they're going to kick the shit out of Everton. I think it's just uh, tongue-in-cheek and, you know, Troy Deeney, love him or hate him, he's, uh, he's always going to speak his mind. And for me... It's quite refreshing for a footballer to come out and actually say what he means, you know, and what he thinks. So, look, let's uh, let's try not to get caught too much up in it. Um, yes, will I boo Marco Silva today? Absolutely. Richarlison, uh, you know, I, I I really sit on the fence with Richarlison. I I, I think he um, he was a good player for us for a short period of time. He's gone to Everton because he clearly feels he can do better. That's up to him, you know, that's football. Where Marco Silva's concerned, it was slightly different because of the way he was and what he'd done and the way he went about it. Um, that's what I think really uh, cut deep with, with a lot of Watford fans. So that's that. But look, looking forward to the game. Um, I suppose I better go and get dressed and showered. I look like a mess, a bit of a late night last night. But um, looking forward to the game. I think it's going to be, uh, I think it'll be a tight affair. I think there'll be a lot of nerves from both sides. One, because we want the win. Um, but I think if we can get that first goal, I think we can actually win this game quite comfortably. Set pieces are going to be key today. Everton, as we've seen under uh, under Marco Silva, uh, corners and set pieces, they, they, they're they marking space. They're not marking players. So I think that's, that's something for, for our big boys to, to go and attack. But look, going to get ready. Head off to the ground. Three points. Come on, you boys. First and our friends at Cardiff City Football Club. time uh, just got a drink but tight first off very tight Delefeu I I love him to bits but I don't want him playing there he's more effective on the wings and that's where we need him but still tight half time what for nil Everton nil second half starting substitute big fridges off 
Freeze is gone, Jace. Uh, Andre's on. So uh, hopefully we can uh, we can get this goal and push on. Please. Zonal marking. Zonal marking at its best. That's a snake noise. He's better than you. He's better than you. He's better than you. Happy Garcia. He's better than you. You fucking snake. Final score! Watford 1, Everton 0! He's just sent off! Oh, and they've had a red card, bless them. Fantastic result, great. Dug deep. The only time they really challenged us was right at the end, and that was offside. We were comfortable. Getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. You get sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. You get sacked in the morning. I'm not happy about that result at all. It's a lie, I am. Fucking buzzing. Get in there, great result. 
Catch you outside. How are you doing, guys? Uh, listen, I wanted to um, touch base with you before the end of the night. Um, right, a few things to, to mention. Um, firstly, what a result. Fantastic result. 1-0. I always thought it was going to be a tight game. I, I wanted three or four nil, but I just thought it's going to be a tight game. Um, but listen, it's, it's, as I said before in the car, it's not about Marco Silva. It's not about Richarlison. Who, I'll be honest, Richarlison took the brunt of that uh, today, and you'll see on the on the vlog today. I I did give it him. I I did, um, and I gave it to Marco Silva. But it's not because I disagree with it. It's because. It is what it is, and it, it did motivate us. I thought it motivated us to the win today, and it's a 1-0 win. We've got the three points. Um, how can I put this politely? Fuck Everton. Because the other thing that I've seen tonight, which has really upset me, is um, some poor lad has, has had an absolute kicking on Vicarage Road inside the um, the cemetery. For, for what I can see is fuck all, is just dickhead Everton fans. And listen, Everton fans, you guys have commented on my last video, so I ple so please, 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 I hope you guys watch this, and I'm going to tag a couple of Everton fans that I know do follow this. That's fucking scummy. That's scummy. You had your, you had your thing with Millwall, where you came, you came down to London, because you're the big boys of the fucking North, whatever it is, and you got your asses handed to you. Forget the knife incident. I know the, I know the poor lad that got cut down the face. That's 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 wrong. I get that. But you got your asses handed to you. Yeah? You're not villains. All this fucking, I'm a villain, I, I can do... Guys, it's football for fuck's sake. People are getting hurt. Some poor lad at Watford's got fucking... He's got a kick in off, off five, six fans. It's bollocks. It's fucking bollocks. You can't do it. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, fair enough. Fair enough, but when the guy hits the floor, it finishes. You don't fucking put a boot in. It's not manly. It's disrespectful. It's not manly. And uh, yes, I'm not up for fighting, but it's not manly, guys. If if you ever fight with someone, if someone hits a deck, don't put a boot in because that's where people get in trouble. I, I believe four dickheads, four um, Everton fans, if you can call them that, have, have been arrested. Good. I hope they throw the fucking book at you. You horrible little wankers coming down here being the big I am. It's wrong. Right, I think, um, is that rant over? I think so. Listen, <laughs> besides that, uh, we won. Watford have got three points. We've won. Marcus Silva, God bless. Richarlison, I, I generally didn't have anything for you. As soon as they paid 50 million, I thought that was enough penance. You, you rolled around the floor all day. You showed Everton fans what you were about. We told them that. We told them what, what Moko Silva was about. We told them what Richarlison's about. And they still bought you. And they still tapped you up and took took you. So, as as they say, you've, lie, you've made your bed. You've got to lie in it. It is what it is. Three points to the horns. We move on. Can't wait for the next game. Hornets. It's fucking brilliant. Please like, follow comment don't like comment bad comments i love them all please it's uh, it's the reason i do this it's about football fans it's about an opinion and that's what football's about it's about an opinion yeah not coming down to watford and fucking jumping on some poor sod in the in the cemetery you mugs come on everton you're fucking classier than that you scumbags but listen i'm going for a beer and i'll see you next time you all come on what that